I'm looking at our conversation today about living undefeated. And sometimes mm. when I when I hear something like that, I oftentimes learn the hard way. It's just, you know, I think there's so many of us that do in our walk. And yeah. um, I love the fact that scripture says um, that it, God's word teaches us, corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right in Second mm -hmm. Timothy. I love, mm -hmm. I love that. And it's all scripture is inspired by God and useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what's wrong in our lives. But mm -hmm. I oftentimes have to look back at where I've been so mistaken to feel what does it mean to be undefeated and really take a look at what does it feel like to be defeated? And I think mm -hmm. when I think about being defeated, it's like getting what I want out of God's timing mm -hmm. and being undefeated is sitting in the peace of his presence um, and having an expectancy that he will come through because yeah. he has mm -hmm. in the past. And so it's not necessarily, I've gone ahead and got what I wanted. I remember as a softball player, I remember like rounding third base and I'm always trying to prove my worth on a team. Mm -hmm. Like I can do this. And I remember yeah. seeing my base coach like this, like stop, uh -huh. don't steal home. <laughs> and I steal home because yeah. I want to prove to mm -hmm. the world, which was yeah. my team at the time. And we do this in life. I'm like, I want to prove that I'm valuable. I want to prove that I'm worthy. So I blow by my base coach. <laughs> These were not <laughs> praise hands. These yeah. were stop yeah. hands. Stop, stop hands. hands. Yeah. Stop and I went to go steal home and I was tagged out defeated. And the defeat was because I went ahead of someone who cared mm -hmm. for me and was mm -hmm. holding me up wow. at third. And so many times in my life, I can look back and see, where did I blow by God? Wow. And just go That's ahead good. on my own pace. Yeah, that right? is so So like good. defeat to me is like going ahead on my pace, right. not sitting in mm. his word right. and walking with him in the word on his pace for me. And so I do that a lot. And so I've learned to be like, where God am I seeing? You're yeah. holding me up. Not that you don't want that victory for right. people. Right. Yeah. Right. He has the victory right. for us. And even when I have fallen, he will gently yes. pick right. me up and carry me home. But it's not that he doesn't want us to get there. Yeah. I really feel like for me, he's like, I want that for you. Right. Yeah. But on my time. Yeah. Well, I love what you even said last mm -hmm. night. You said holding your hands up, but it, the one with the authority at yeah. that moment. Authority. Who right. can see what I cannot? Who knows? So my back is to the field, I know, I right? That. I can't see the girl about yeah. gutting me right. ready at home, so but great. but God sees so much for us yeah. and loves yes. us so much. Just like, and a glimpse of that was my coach saying, I'm seeing the whole field. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You're limited in your view, but you just want to prove your worth to me. Trust me that I want that victory for you. I want you to score, yeah. but right. not yeah. on your time, not on yet. mine, God said. Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.